Just check Pemaquid for uh, wind speed and direction right now. We live in a very complex, chaotic world, and uh, the challenge is to see if there's some pattern, to see if there's some way of making some sense out of it. We're one of the only universities in the country that has what's known as the dual degree. Students get a degree in marine biology and in marine policy. And part of the marine biology is, is full training in social sciences and marine law, as well as marine biology. Historically, it's been natural resources that drove Maine's economy. The marine resources are worth more today than ever in our history in Maine. And yet, 85% is coming from one species. So we're actually going to have to develop um, assessment techniques, and that's what we're doing. And that's what these students are working on. We're developing techniques, the new tools for marine spatial planning and for ecosystem-based management. And we'd like to move forward in a way, so we do this collaboratively with the fishing community. Everything that we're doing in terms of doing these seafloor assessments and the models that we're developing allow us to uh, monitor and do stock assessments, multi-species, small scale, near real time. Now that's, see, that's, that's the lobster activity right there. There is probably a lobster there. There is a lobster. You see its claws. These are real life experiences, problem solving in physics and problem solving in the natural environment is probably the best education we can give anybody. And it means you don't have to go anyplace else to solve problems. And some of those problems should be, how can I make a living right here? And I think that we could do that.